Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 7th of April 2020. And we have a number of very, very interesting news. First of all, Kel Schoman um, announces their Loch Grom 2020 edition. This is one of the few um, bottlings that is coming out regularly and also matured exclusively in sherry casks. It is limited to 15,500 bottles, not colored, not chill filtered, 46% ABV and will be available in the mid of April. And then we have Distel. Distel is actually gifting 10% uh, of their revenue with whiskey uh, to uh, boost uh, the, um, the trade inside Scotland. So they're taking 10% of their Tobomori, Bunnahaven and Deanston revenues and they're giving it to, to a charity that supports the spirits and uh, drinks business within Scotland because um, there is a bit of a trouble there and a bit of an economic bust there. And then we have the proprietor of Glenfiddich that is William Grants and Son. They actually uh, will produce 5 million liters of alcohol for hand disinfection. And they are not actually using Glenfiddich, but they are actually using Tullamore and Girvan in Scotland. So these are their big column still uh, companies and they are changing to hand disinfectant. So um, we will have enough hand disinfectant to uh, battle the shortages of hand disinfectant in this Corona crisis. Uh, now the list of uh, distilleries that are now producing hand disinfectant um, just is very, very high. Um, now we have Haven Hill, Jack Daniels, uh, Koval, which is a bit smaller, Cure, also a bit smaller, and Brewdog that are producing hand disinfectant. When we look to England, we have the Yorkshire Brenner uh, Distillery and that has just released their first whiskey on the market. It's called the uh, Moscatel finish, uh, Philly Bay Moscatel finish, sorry, sorry about that. And yes, it is a Moscatel finish, 46% ABV and is limited to 6,000 bottles. Hopefully that will be of good quality and we will have a look at it probably pretty soon. Then we have uh, uh, 3.5 million Great British Pounds alone for the Lakes Distillery. Um, they often talked about new investment and production. Uh, they want to in increase their production. And now they get got their, their money as a loan and they want to triple the production. The Lakes Distillery brought on their first whiskey in 2018. And we've also had that in our portfolio. Maybe we'll try that in the future here on the cask. And now we move to the United States. Yes, they do have a disinfectant crisis. Not enough disinfect disinfectant is on the market. And now Buffalo Trace joins the production of alcohol for hand disinfectant. Uh, the company is Sazerac. They own Buffalo Trace and now they are now changing to hand disinfectant and they want to increase their production, which is normal. Usually when you have a distillery, that distillery is not just looking at producing alcohol, but also producing the right flavor. But for hand disinfectant, you only want to produce alcohol. So you're not going to use uh, any natural ingredient like malted barley in your grain cooking. You're just going to use corn and you're going to use enzymes to produce a lot of sugar and during the fermentation, you will not use any yeast that produce uh, favorable flavors, but just produce the most uh, alcohol. So then you're gonna use some turbo yeast or some instant yeast, or I don't know, but they're gonna use uh, that what gives them the most alcohol because that is then measurement for quality and not the flavor anymore. So we we'll probably see a bit of a rise in alcohol production from these distilleries which is not going to be used for the whiskey though. Yeah, that was it for the news for today. And we see that the whiskey industry is doing a lot and changing a lot of their production to disinfectant because of the incoming pandemic.
yeah thank you very much for watching and see you next time